Tonight's special guest is motivational speaker John Shackleton, the author of the book Life is for Living. John is a classic baby boomer at 57 and says he knows one way to prove that life is for living, swim, cook, straight. We welcome John Shackleton as our special guest on The Beat Goes On. John Shackleton, welcome to The Beat Goes On. Thank you very much. Our Great first, to be here. Yeah, our first show for 2012. Gosh, you know, it was only 12 years ago we, we were celebrating the millennium, weren't we? Well, it was a while ago, wasn't it? How quickly time goes. <laughs> <laughs> But we're not here to discuss the millennium, are we, John? We're here to discuss the fact that you're a classic baby boomer and you're doing something I quite am. wonderful. Swim, cook straight. <laughs> Tw right. Is it 23 kilometres? 26. 26 kilometres. Yeah. Wow. Are yeah, you it's mad a long way. Are you yeah. mad, John? <laughs> Completely and totally nuts, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's start at the beginning. You've obviously, um, you, you weren't born in New Zealand, were you? you no, were, I'm British. Yeah, yeah. you're British. Yeah. And uh, where were you uh, born in England? Uh, um, I was born in London. I uh, lived most of my life in the Midlands or, or just outside London. Came here nine and a half years ago, so mm. uh, came here to retire. Really? Stupid thing, yeah. Is that true? And then now I'm working harder than I've ever worked. So, <laughs> yeah. And you're a good classic baby boomer. You were born in 1954, That's so right, um, yeah. you're on a baby boomer chat show. Uh, yes, yeah, good stuff. And, and look, we're just proud to have you. Uh, a 57-year-old that is going to yep. swim Cook Strait. And, I mean, that's a lesson to all of us, isn't it? Uh, all us guys that sit on the couch every night and flick through the television channels and put on the weight. <laughs> I must make it clear, I'm going to attempt to swim Cook Strait. <laughs> uh, no, nobody says I'm going to climb Mount Everest. Yeah, they say yeah. I'm going to attempt to climb yeah, it. Yeah. Um, I've been a swimmer all my life, uh, mm. competitive swimmer all my life, but my events have, have all been sprint events, 100 metres, 200 metres, 50 metres. Mm. And uh, a friend of mine who is um, a, a great open water swimmer, Al Hulbert, uh, said he was going to make an attempt on the straights this year. Would I do some of the training with him? Because it takes an enormous amount of training. Uh, so I said, yes, I'll do some. And, and then I thought, well, why would you do the training yeah. and not do the swim? So mm. I gave it some thought, a lot of thought, and... Uh, eventually said, yeah, I'll actually do the attempt with him as well. So we, we uh, make the attempt on somewhere between the 27th of March and the 3rd of April. Uh, it's a nice little window there. The tides are going to yeah, be good and hopefully right. the weather's going to be good. That's, we can't control any of those things, but um, there are 10 tide windows a year mm. and that just happens to be the one we've been given. Uh, people come from all over the world to attempt Cook Strait and they can be here for two weeks mm. and the weather is just not right mm. for them. Or they may even start the, the, the swim and the weather deteriorates and they have mm. to be pulled out. So there's a, there's a huge amount riding on the weather. But you're not on your own, are you? You've got a whole support team, oh, you've got a boat. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's a couple of boats, there's a big launch, there's yeah. a, a small RIB with us, and um, uh, yeah, some people will, will, will be there looking after us on the day. Hopefully not the Westpac helicopter. So in the end you'll swim 26 kilometres? Yeah, 26 about. Km. Yeah, and yeah. it's going to take seven to 10 hours? Somewhere between seven and 10, yeah, we wow. think. And you, you can stop along the way, you have a refreshment stop? We, we stop every half an hour for mm. uh, something to eat and something to drink, because um, I think you'd probably die if you didn't do that. <laughs> Just I, You can imagine how boring it's going to be, seven, seven hours stopping every, 14 mm. half hour swims it's with, with a, a 30 second break in between. Not, not but, exactly oh, 30 fun. second break? Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, as little as possible. Now you've done the training, haven't you? You've done the yeah. training, so well, tell us about the training regime, what it's have you been doing? For the last, um, well it'll be a, for the last eight months, we've been swimming up to 50 kilometres a week, which is 10, 12, 14 hours a week in the pool and maybe two or three hours in the sea. Um, massive amounts of... This was why I had to think about the idea before mm. I, I said yes, because the commitment is just huge. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to do that uh, and run a business, and I have two young children at the same time, so uh, trying yeah. to fit that amount in is enormous. Is this the fittest you've ever been? Yeah, without, without doubt. Without You're really doubt. feeling good. I, I've been to world championships world masters championships mm. for the sprint events but i've never been as fit as i am right now i'm not very fast mm. but i can swim forever at the moment <laughs> yeah. now the other hazards of course let's look at the hazards uh, there's um, uh, they say that one in every six swimmer gets a visit by a shark yeah oh. I, yeah that's that's the statistic mm. i'm not sure whether we would actually see that yeah but uh, philip rush who takes us across uh, philip rush has, mm. uh, has he's a guru of open water swimming in new zealand um, he, he will be able to see around us and apparently mm. statistics say that one in six uh, swimmers gets a visit. They're just, apparently they're just curious. I'm going to have a, a, a little arrow painted on my chest which says, 
He's much tastier than me. <laughs> what about the cold? Tell us about the cold. It's the day you do the swim. Are you going to do the Gerard Smith trick and put your toe in the water and go, ooh, or are you going to dive straight in? <laughs> no, it's, uh, the, the, the best way is to get in quickly. <laughs> it is cold, but the best way is to go in quickly. Uh, it's still only at about 15 or 16 degrees. Um, we did a big race in Taupo, uh, in Lake Taupo, quite recently, and, and if that was at 18 degrees. And I've swum in 17 and 18, so I know I can I, I can survive that quite easily. Uh, yeah, in fact, you don't get cold at that. that and you can win. Uh, you can wear a wetsuit. No, no you, wet, no wetsuit. Oh, I could wear a wetsuit. Mm. It makes it phenomenally easier, mm. but um, it wouldn't count as an official crossing if I did. So. Oh, okay. Now, what about packing all that grease on your body? We it, would cover ourselves with mm. a bit of grease. Uh, that mm. does tend to keep you your kidneys and your you know your internal organs a little bit warmer but mm. uh, in essence you've got to work that's the whole problem you have to work hard enough to stay warm mm. uh, but not too hard that you don't get exhausted it's a very fine balance in between now John you're not just doing this for John Shackleton you're doing it for a charity so tell us about the charity that's uh, going to benefit from you swimming the uh, straight um, autism foundation mm. who help families that have uh, autistic, autism in their family. Um, and there's a, a, a competition running alongside the swim where people guess how long I'll be in the water, and they can win a holiday for two in Fiji, which is a, at the yeah I know wow. the Mana Resort mm. uh, Island Hotel, which uh, which is a fantastic place. So a holiday for two, including the flights and, and, and five nights accommodation. So and where do we find out about the competition? Uh, at the website, which is bigswim.co.nz. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and that that competition, people need to enter that as quickly as they can, so they mm. can get on board and mm. um, go and go into it. And you've had some great sponsors, haven't you? Really good sponsors. Uh, a couple of people have been very very helpful um, uh, in helping us do mm. all of this. Uh, Jones Lang LaSalle, which is a, a wonderful real estate company that are one of my clients, have been very helpful in in. Uh, helping to absorb some of the costs that it costs a lot of money to do this swim because of all mm. the support and stuff that goes on and also turners and growers are, are helping us as well so yes fantastic work by those sponsors too we'll just change the subject a slight bit here because you are a personal motivator aren't you and you have a yeah. company called John Shackleton dot com my background is sports psychology so I understand about how we motivate ourselves mm. Um, so and, and the presentations I give in, in the corporate world are all about how a manager works with their, their team to get them motivated or how an individual motivates themselves. Um, so I understand the, the, the theory of motivation. Mm. I think one of the challenges with all of this is um, w once I was committed to doing it, I don't think motivation is the problem. I think it's overcoming fear that's the major problem <laughs> yeah. uh, and it doesn't matter how much motivation you've got um, if the fear's too big you just won't do anything. So. Now John what we have here is life is for living and yeah. really it's it's a wonderful well is it a booklet or a book? Um, well, it's a book yeah, it's, it's a, a best-selling book actually. It's By sold, John Shackleton. Yep yeah, it's sold over 12,000 copies which is good. Wonderful. Um, it, I actually wrote it for the baby boomers funnily enough. Yeah. I was sick to death of people saying to me well it's all right for you, John. You're fit and healthy, but mm. I'm, I'm a bit older now, so I need to slow down. So um, you get fat at the supermarket. Absolutely, <laughs> you do because it's the choices you make in the food yeah. that you buy that, yeah. that make hey, you get fat. That's one, one, one uh, chapter I'm going to be reading with great my, interest. My favourite chapter in there is the title of it is "The Quick and Easy Way to Health and Fitness," yeah. and there's only one sentence in the in the uh, the whole chapter. It says, "There isn't one. Stop looking for it." <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we've got five of these. Yep. We've got five of these to give away, and we need a question, John. Uh, I have built a website specifically about mm. the swim. Yes. It's, um, uh, so I'd like to know from people what would that website B. What's the what's the title of that website? It has all the information. It has a competition yeah. on there. We need a clue, John. How about giving us the title? A clue uh, might be um, www.bigswim.co.nz. That, that's a clue. <laughs> There's the clue. All you have to do is email Jared at the beat goes on, and in the subject line put uh, big swim dot co dot nz also please have a look at the uh, the website and find out what john is doing and uh and we'll pick five and five lucky viewers will win 
Life is for living. Good on you, John. We're Thanks. proud of you. You're a baby boomer, and uh, this is what the whole show was about, was to uh, let New Zealand know that whether you've got a mountain to climb, a CD to make, a book to write, cross. or a straight to cross, uh, baby boomers are in there doing it. So, yeah. John, we're going to see you when you come back. And let's tell us all about how. I will do, promise you.